Hi everyone, thanks for joining. I'm Chef Angie Concilio with ConciliosKitchenware.com. Today I'm doing an in-depth demonstration on the newest model. We're introducing the Philips 5400 EP5447-94 fully automatic latte go espresso machine. If you're new to this channel, thanks for joining. Subscribe to stay in the loop with what's happening here at ConciliosKitchenware.com. I'll be going over the main features of the machine. I'll show you how easy it is to make coffee, espressos, and milk-based beverages in the comfort of your own home with the newest milk-based technology with the latte go system. I'll show you how unique the extra shot feature is on this Philips 5400 and then we'll tie it all together by showing you how to maintain and care for your machine on a weekly basis and for overall longevity. The 5400 offers 12 impressive beverage options. We have espresso, coffee, americano, cappuccino, latte macchiato, cafe au lait, and we have the more drinks option where we can access cafe crema, cafe latte, milk froth, travel mug, espresso lungo, ristretto, flat white, and hot water. Within each beverage selection, you're able to adjust the strength, you're able to adjust the length, and you can select for a single or double serving. The Philips 5400 has three different temperature settings. Go into your settings. We're going to scroll down to temperature. We're going to hit OK. And then you can see there is low, medium, and high. We're gonna go ahead and keep it on high. The Philips 5400 has five different aroma strength settings plus an extra shot function. Over here we have our pre-ground option, which is when we would use the bypass. One, two, three, four, and five. The sixth option is the extra shot function, which allows you to enjoy a lot more intensity without the bitterness in your coffee beverage. This machine features four different user profiles plus one guest profile. We have blue, green, pink, and yellow. When there is no color, that means a guest can access the machine and make the beverage the way they prefer without altering your saved recipe in your user profile. Let's go ahead and make a single shot of espresso with the extra shot feature. Now, you have your strength settings. We're going right to the top to get that extra shot. I'm going to adjust the volume and I'm gonna do a single shot. The bean hopper is accessible on the top of the machine. The cover has an aroma seal, which allows for less air to enter the bean hopper, keeping our beans fresh longer. The bean hopper holds 275 grams of beans. The grinder is ceramic, which allows for a more consistent and precise grind, resulting in more crema with your coffee beverages. Over here is the bypass, allowing you to enjoy a decaf or a different pre-ground grind of coffee. Next up, we're going to make a flat white. I'm going to top up the milk carafe and we are going to go into the more drinks menu. We're going to go towards the bottom and select flat white. Now I can adjust the strength of coffee to my preference. I'm going to adjust the length of coffee as well as the length of milk. Then we go ahead and hit the go button. Let's go ahead and make a cafe au lait. I'm using oat milk. You can always add in a splash of your favorite creamer. Select the cafe au lait option. We're gonna adjust 
our coffee. I'm always a fan of the extra shot feature. I'm going to adjust here the adjustable spout. If you're going to be moving from one type of milk to the other, you may want to consider doing a quick rinse on the carafe. You can access that by the clean button, quick rinse, hitting OK, and then confirming that you'd like to proceed with the rinse. Next on the agenda is making a classic cappuccino. I'm using regular dairy milk, and I'm going to keep the settings as they are pre-programmed on the machine. The lid is removable and it is a two-part system. This can go into the dishwasher. This is the chamber where air and milk at a high speed get mixed together to heat the milk and to froth it with a splash-free spout. A velvety, rich, creamy, and silky milk foam produced by the Latte Go Milk Technology. The last beverage for today's demo is going to be creating and making a coffee to go in a travel mug. We're gonna hit OK. We can adjust based on our preference. Is this your first fully automatic espresso machine? I'm gonna show you how simple it is to maintain it on a weekly basis, and then I'll show you how to access the guided descaling process. Once you take out the water tank, you'll have access to the brewing unit. Pull the brewing unit out. This is the heart of the machine. You're going to give this a quick, simple rinse once a week under tap water. The 5400 Latte Go will prompt you when the machine needs to be descaled. To access that, you would select clean, scroll down to descaling, select OK, and then follow along the guided instructions available to you on the digital display. Part of taking care of your fully automatic machine, if it's a Philips machine or any other machine, you want to use a non-oily roasted bean. At Concilio's Kitchen, where we have our own locally roasted beans, we have them available in four different roasts. Using an oily bean would gum up the grinder over time. Another way you can tell if your beans are dry is putting a few beans in your palm if it leaves a residue, that's something that you want to avoid. All of our beans are locally roasted in Ontario and they are created for fully automatic espresso machines. For value, functionality, and results, the 5400 Latte Go is a great choice. You're getting 12 different beverage options at the simple touch of a very friendly, intuitive digital display. You have the extra shot feature as well as the milk-based technology with the Latte Go Carafe. Simplest, easiest to use milk carafe, no internal tubes, cleaning is truly a breeze. The housing on the 5400 creates a beautiful backdrop for all of your beverages. The four user profiles makes this machine a great choice for a family household. I'm Chef Angie Concilio with ConciliosKitchenware.com. Don't hesitate to reach out to our team as we are here to help you make the most informed decision on your next purchase. My favorite beverage is a cappuccino. Why don't you leave a comment below and let me know what your favorite coffee beverage is.